up, everyone? This is your astrology horoscope for June 23rd, 2023. I'm astrologer Alex Skiles, and welcome to the Moon Base. Thank you all for being here, and happy Friday. I really appreciate it. If you're watching this, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that button below. You know what to do. Let's just get into it, shall we? So, today is a rare day because this is the first time since Saturn has been retrograde in Pisces with the moon and Virgo opposing Saturn. And this hasn't happened in 29 years, so it's quite a rare one. And it's what it's really bringing up is just it's making us really realize that I th we could be really too critical of ourselves, too critical of our environment, too critical of other people, of the world, and all that kind of stuff, you know. And Saturn is really trying to teach us that we got to just move with the tides. We got to go with the flow. We got to be formless. We got to be water. I'm sure you've heard that fucking quote before <laughs> but we got to be formless you know we got to move with the waves we got to we got to surf you know if you can't surf you better learn how because <laughs> saturn is only getting closer to neptune and this is like the greatest kelly slater surfing competition of all time right so get ready and the good news is is with the sextile and the trine over to Saturn, the sextile from the moon to the sun, from the sun trining Saturn. I mean, we have a lot of support. And we have a lot of support from our family members, our partners, our partnerships, you know. But ultimately, support from the universe, you know, from the divine. And... Saturn in Pisces is teaching us that we can only trust what's outside of ourselves and that that voice within that we hear and we know we hear it and we call it our intuition or whatever. It's, it's we have to trust it. And with that moon in Virgo, sometimes it's hard to just trust that intuition, right? We can't let that the the other voice on the other side of that. You know, say, well, if if you just if you just dive into something, you know, you might hit your head on the on the bottom. And it's like, well, the water's deep enough, you know, so I can swim. And it's like, yeah, well, you might drown. <laughs> and it's like, well, maybe not. You know, we just have to dive in. We have to just trust the energy. And the good news is, is that coming into tonight, as the moon kind of moves in later in the evening, it's going to try and Jupiter and Taurus, which, you know, it's still there with the North Node, which is amazing. So that's, that's the, this is like the kickoff to, a, to the Super Bowl, right? And what I mean by that is Jupiter is going to conjunct Uranus next year. It's all it's only getting there. It's only getting closer. So we have a lot of support to create this material abundance that we're being called to to manifest in our destiny, you know. With these nodes here, I mean this is a faded event of what we're manifesting materially, financially, you know. Um I mean wealth. You know, and I don't mean just money. I mean wealth in uh, the the life we want to live, and creating stability to have a wealthy and healthy life. And that's what Jupiter and Taurus is trying to expand. It's the abundance it's trying to bring in, and this is really a destined moment to remember that and to bring that in. And when Jupiter and Uranus hit next year, you'll 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 
You'll feel it. You'll you'll know exactly when it does because it's going to, and it's going to be electric. But we just can't let that critical voice hinder that, right? That you know, Virgo just it, it just it'll it'll think too much. It'll judge others too much. It'll you know, it's a self undoing at times. The Virgo energy and it's just. We don't want to let that overcome us. So you gotta, you gotta surf. You gotta get good at surfing here. You know, Saturn in Pisces wants us to ride the waves. You know, and as Saturn is approaching Neptune over the next two years, which we haven't seen since the 1700s. <laughs> you know. Um, You got to be ready to surf. You know, that board's got to be waxed because, I mean, it's going to take about two years here, but the, the wave is only increasing. And you just have to trust that you're going to get through, you know, and you're going to barrel through that wave. And there's going to be many waves here. And the only way to really safely get through that is to just not overthink you can't overthink, you can't over analyze and criticize yourself and criticize others, you know. You just have to let it go, you have to trust God, trust the universe, and trust your intuition, you know. So, in that case, Venus is in shadow now, fully. It went in shadow at 12 degrees, and we haven't seen Venus retrograde in Leo since summer of 2015. So I'm sure by now, with Venus being in shadow, things from that time are already coming back up. Specifically, romantic partners and creative partnerships and creative things that were on the back burner. Maybe that at that time you didn't finish that are coming up or things that you're doing now or reflecting that time. Maybe you're starting to really feel that, man, I haven't been my full creative self. And I got to remember that inner child. And I got to get to that place where I can fully express myself creatively, you know. And it's amazing with this Venus and Mars here. But the truth is about this Venus Mars, and I know a lot of people are talking about it, but they're not going to catch up in Leo. They're not going to catch up until later this year. So Mars is going to keep moving forward. So this masculine energy is just it's dominating. You know, the feminine energy is kind of like trying to catch up to Mars and trying to reach for it, and it's not quite getting there. And it won't until October, November time. And then Venus and Mars will conjunct fully. And then it'll merge. But that's the that's what the test is going to be here. You know, it's almost like, a, you know, your lover, you know. It's like in a dream, you know, and it's slow motion and you're reaching out for their hand. And, like, it's like you almost got their hand. And they just pass you up and you can't quite grab it and they just keep going. And they leave you behind. <laughs> you know. That's kind of what this energy feels like. But it doesn't mean that they're going to leave you behind or the energy is going to leave you behind and forget about you. It's just going to take a lot more time to get there. Because we have to learn these lessons to remind ourselves of who we are. You know, Leo energy is about who, who, who I am, you know, as a creator, you know, my ego, you know, Leo rules the ego, you know, and it's okay to tap into that right now. It's, it, it really is okay. Ego is not a bad thing. You know, it's, it's really knowing yourself. And on that note, Mars and Venus here are building towards a square to Uranus, you know. 
We got Mars at 19, Uranus is at 21, and it's getting close. It's getting really close. I think by the 26th, Mars will square exactly. Venus will square exactly here by next week sometime as well. And this is fucking triggering. This is like really triggering for people. <laughs> like in a sense of like if you really are embodying this Mars and Leo energy and you are just fully expressing yourself and not giving a fuck about what other people think, it's going to really set some people off, you know. It's going to really trigger people more than usual because that's how Uranus works. It's just very sudden triggering energy, you know. And there's a lesson within that, and the lesson is that we just can't be overcome by <laughs> um, envy and jealousy, you know, like, we got to allow people to just, you know, be themselves. And I think over the next few days, you know, we're going to be feeling a little triggered, you know, at least some of us. Some people probably aren't going to give too many fucks about it. And, you know, just just be ready for that. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's a good day. It's a good day overall. But you, I feel like we, we got to allow people to you know if if you're feeling like someone is being too much for you you know like too much leo mars energy for you like let them be there and just let them have their moment you know because there's gonna be a lot of people who want to fight back on that and it's like well this is my moment you know it's like i think we're all gonna have our moment here over the next coming months especially with this venus you know to really like create something beautiful and you know this venus in shadow though i mean before it goes retrograde i mean we're kind of feeling the uh um like we're, we're it's like the preface of a book of what venus and venus retrograde in leo is going to be about right it's usually what the shadow periods of before something goes retrograde is like. It's like a preface to a book. And it kind of is, is highlighting all the themes of what it's going to be about. Because once we actually get into the retrograde, then we're going to just be living it. But now it's almost like a like you know, it can be a psychic energy of like, okay, this is what's coming. So... This Uranus is just triggering that. Uranus is a trigger. And some people aren't going to like it. And some people are going to be having the time of their lives. <laughs> and it's it's challenging. And that's okay. It's totally fine. I, I'm totally fine with that. But the cool thing is, though, and I love this aspect, is today... Mars is trining Chiron. So I feel like we're going to be feeling like we just need to get up off our ass and just go do something physical and creative that's, that's going to heal our ego. You know, just kind of like revitalize like who we are. Like I can, I can imagine some people today a lot of people are going to be feeling like all right i'm gonna i'm just gonna you know i've been lazy for too long i've been sitting on my ass for too long some people are gonna just gonna snap out of it today and say i am gonna go do something about it and this is very very supportive towards like just remembering that inner child and just doing something creative for yourself not just to show other people or whatever i mean people will notice but this aries energy it wants to do it for 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 you it wants to heal you you know chiron is healing it's the wounded healer and yeah like it brings up a lot of wounds as well but i mean this this fire trying like it's like light that fucking fire and take these wounds and, you know, 
turn him into dust. You know, just gone. And I feel like this is this is this is really this is a uh, we're not gonna have this for a while. We don't we haven't had this in two years. I don't even I don't even remember. I honestly don't know if we've had had this yet with Mars and Leo. Yeah, I think we may have had it in 2021. I could be wrong. So if I'm wrong, let me know. But yeah. Do something. Do something to to wake up that ego. And if you're feeling a little low and feeling, you know, like this, feeling some underlying psychological pain, like you, you just got to get physical. Make something. Do something. Yeah, today's the day for that. So, what else we got going on today? I mean, this isn't really today, but we got a building square from Mercury to Neptune. So either way, you know, on top, top this off with this Mars Uranus triggering square. I mean, we got this Mercury squaring Neptune too. So, and it does bring up this. Moon opposing Saturn as well, so I mean we're coming full circle here because there's a lot of mercurial energy being challenged by this Pisces energy, so it's it's kind of insane. I mean, <laughs> it, if you're gonna see some people just kind of go off the rails, you know. You can't get too much in your head. If you're feeling too much in your head, you got to you got to get physical and you got to just trust the wave. You know. That's really what we're being called to do and I feel like today is the day to really like set in motion how you're going to heal that that ego. You know, and Mars is really allowing that to happen. And if you're feeling a little crazy in your head, you just can't stay still. Don't stay still. Today is not a day to stay still. So, don't waste any time. Time's running out. <laughs> not really, because time is forever. But, you know, we got, I mean, Venus is going to retrograde July 23rd. So, we have 30 days. We have exactly 30 days today before Venus goes retrograde officially. So, the more you can get ahead of the game and just get physical and not let your mind overtake you and just ride these waves, we're going to be ahead of the game, you know, before Venus goes retrograde. And this Lilith, too, is pretty interesting. I mean, there's just a lot of deep intensity. It's so intense. A lot of deep intensity with this Mars. I mean, it's just like a lot of fears can come up that can project some physical, you know, like, I don't know. I don't want to say anger, but this can definitely be, you can come across some, like, kind of angry energy. You know, the Mars and Lilith, you know, and it's just got to, it's got to be channeled because it can be really triggered by this Uranus. So, you know, heal, heal your ego, heal with people. There's a lot of support going on from your partnerships at the end of the day. And... I feel like that's where we're really going to win and that's where we're really going to find comfort ultimately. You know, is with our family and just being where we are. Taurus just wants to be where we are. And with this North Node and this Jupiter, it's just you're going to find the happy place and the abundance just where you're at. You know, I don't feel like Friday night tonight is the night where people are just going to be wanting to go out and party and get crazy you know and honestly with this moon and virgo opposing saturn it's not the time to be drinking and 
doing crazy shit like that, you know, doing drugs and stuff. I mean, Pisces and Neptune and the twelfth house. I mean, it rules all all that stuff: drugs, alcohol, whatever. So, this is a big lesson with Saturn and Pisces, and on its way to conjunct Neptune. Is you know, f- find other ways to live it up, so to say. You know. <laughs> And with this moon of Virgo, I mean, people are definitely going to be making very quick, rash decisions to just like, oh, I'm going to go take a drink. And this is this is that moment where, you know, you can have one drink and make a real mistake here. You know, don't drink and drive with this energy. Don't drink and drive ever. But, you know, more people be tend will tend to make those kinds of stupid mistakes with this energy top this off with that Mercury squaring Neptune as well I mean you gotta be really careful on, the, on Friday night you know just 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 chill Friday night's a chill a chill time so yeah anyway I mean it's a good Friday I mean the nodes are closing up we're gonna be in Aries and Libra here pretty soon so I mean what are you going to do? Live it up, right? Let's pull a card, shall we? I'm just pondering on, uh, on this whole, uh, Saturn Pisces transit, you know, being the first time that the moon opposing Saturn retrograde. I know that I'm f- I'm feeling personally, you know, I've I've had to let a lot of things go, and I, and just learn how to take things as they come and not control things. You know, Pluto's back in Capricorn now too, so a lot of elements of control you know from that deep unconscious place is coming back up for sure yeah this moon in Virgo is really going to be bringing bringing that stuff up what do we got two of swords So we have two choices, you know, we have two paths to take. And we just have to trust our intuition, you know. You got that blindfold on, you know, you can't see the paths, but you know that there's two paths, you know that there's two choices to make. And those two choices is is all we have right now. You know, in the duality of things, you know, we can sink or swim. That's very Saturn Pisces <laughs> retrograde moon op- opposing it kind of energy, you know, sink or swim. And we got to learn learn how to just trust the path and that it will unfold divinely. And, uh, yeah, thank you all for being here. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow and have a lovely Friday. Peace.